What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in this video we're going to talk about an extension that helps you create 3D grids in your SketchUp models. Um, before I get started, I do want to take a second and thank my supporters on Patreon. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So, and one of the perks of being a Patreon supporter is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, if you want to support the show and vote on the extension that I cover every week, uh, make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, 3D Grid Tool. Plugin Developer. Didier Burr, plugin cost, it's free. Where can you get it? You can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse. Tool functions. This extension is designed to help you create grids in your SketchUp models. This can be especially helpful if you're designing a building that needs to be set on a certain structural support spacing, or if you're designing anything else that needs to be set on a grid. This extension contains two built-in functions. The first is the ability to simply create a grid on a 2D plane. To create your 2D grid, simply select your guide type, set your grid spacing, then click in your model to place your grid. There are several different grid line styles that you can select from, though they all end up looking pretty similar. One thing I don't like about this extension is that it doesn't seem to lock to the axes, and the axis locking using your arrow keys on your keyboard doesn't seem to work either. A decent workaround that I found is to just draw lines where you want to create your grid, and then use those to put the grid where you want. This can be really important if you want all of your axis inferencing and all of your tools to work on the axes properly. When the grid gets placed, it comes in as its own group, so it's really easy to turn on and off. The second option allows you to create a grid with a vertical or a Z value as well. This allows you to create a grid with three dimensions, so you could create a repeating grid that covers multiple levels, which could be especially helpful when working with buildings with multiple stories. One thing that's very important about using this tool is making sure that your grids are actually aligned across all the axes. I really suggest that you draw lines along the axes and use those as guides for making sure your grids are created with the proper alignment, otherwise none of your tool inferencing will work properly. When you bring the multiple levels in, they come in as separate groups, which you could then rename on a per level basis, and hide and show various levels in order to allow you to work on different levels at one time. Overall, I think this could be a very useful tool to help with architectural and structural modeling, since most buildings have to be laid out along grids anyway. That's where I'm going to end today's video. I know this was kind of a short one. Um, this is an extension that has some powerful functions, but it's also very simple. Um, one thing I'd like to hear from you guys is what other extensions would you like to see me cover in the future? Leave a comment below and let me know. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.